Hi, my name is Zach Fisher and welcome to another one of my tech talks. Today I'm going to be talking about the uh, domain name and the difference between um, some of the different addresses and things that you hear when you're talking about computers. And this is something that I'm going to draw an analogy to the, the physical world like I typically do. And I have already talked a little bit about networking, and this is really what it has to do with is, is networking. Um, but I didn't really go into the differences between the different um, the different networking addresses that you'll typically hear. So I'm going to go through three of the most common addresses that you'll hear when you're talking about computers and computer networking. And this is kind of like um, your, uh, your, your address of your house a little bit. So your house has a, a few different parts of the address. One is your street. So you've got your, your number. Um, You've got your city, you've got your state, you've got your zip code. And each of these different pieces represents a, a, different, a different thing. Um, this is your street, this is your city, this is your state, and that is your zip code. And that is kind of similar to the way that um, your IP address is set up. So your IP address has several different parts. One is the beginning. And then there's the middle and there's the end. And, and the IP address is really how um, different computers will find your computer and talk to your computer. So that is the main address that really will um, enable your computer to talk to other computers. But there's a couple of other things that you need to know um, that you'll hear very often. One is the MAC address. Um, it, so this is your house. Imagine your house in this world is kind of like a toy, and you have um, you have a very specific version number of your toy. So each toy has, if you're a toy collector, you understand that each toy has a um, a, a, a very unique name. So every computer has a unique MAC address. And this MAC address is, is pretty long. It starts with like a, um, it, goes, it goes four digits, four digits, four digits, and it keeps going with a dot in between. So your MAC address is kind of like your your version number. So if your house was a built by a specific person, um, it would it it would have an identifier that is unique to your house. Now, um, the IP address that can um, that that is just your your house your house address. But this is kind of like the build number. So this is um, your build number. So 
if you have a house on wheels and your house, um, most of the time, most people live in houses that are static. They're in the same spot, but sometimes people live in trailer houses and those trailer houses move to different addresses. So every once in a while, your IP address, so your like this could change if your your house is on wheels. Um, but this MAC address, because it's your build number of your house, that will never change. Okay, so I went to um, so the, the IP address that can change. The MAC address that will never ever change, and the MAC address is um, it's kind of like your build number. It's very unique. Now there's a third name that you'll hear very very often, and this is domain name. And most, most IP addresses are not associated with a domain name. So most houses, if you think about a house, most houses, they don't have a name. Yet some very large houses, very distinguished houses, they've got a name. I went to a house and it was a mansion and it was called the Walnut in Kentucky. There's another house in um, around where I live and it's called the Stearns Mansion. The White House is another great example of a house that has a name. It also has an address and um, the name is just an easier way of identifying the house. So the domain name is like that. It's like the house's actual, it, if a house actually had a name. Um, so the domain name would be something like www.google.com. And, and that domain name um is just an easier way of identifying an ip address so uh or it, uh, where where something is so it's hard to remember like i don't know the the address of the white house or the address of the stern's mansion or the address of the walnut those are the three houses that i know that have names off the top of my head um or the address of Dell EMC. I don't know what even the address of my company is. Um, but if I wrote Dell EMC on a letter, um, the uh, well, it, in this situation, they would be able to tell where what the what the actual address is. So the domain name is, is kind of like an easier way of identifying where a house is. So in, in the internet, if you type in www.google.com, what happens is that your, um, it, you, it, you send that, that query of www.google.com out of your house, out of your router, router, if um, it, you know if your router doesn't already have that information, and it will hit what's called the domain name server, and the domain name server will give you your IP address and send it back to your um, your computer. But in in very very simple terms, um, the domain name is just like um, if you had a a very uh, a very prestigious house that had an actual 
um, an actual name. So if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to access that house, you could easily, easily understand um, what that is. So if you type in an IP address into your browser, you'll be able to reach it. If you type in a, um, a domain name into your browser, you'll be able to reach it. If you type in the build number of a house, like you're not gonna be able to reach, understand, like a, in your browser, if you put, put in your MAC address, you're not gonna be able to reach that. But the MAC address is used, um, is used sometimes in, in like internal networking in switches and stuff like that. So the MAC address is used in, in networking. But um, these are kind of the three different, the three biggest um, names in networking that you need to understand, addresses that you need to understand in networking. My name is Zach Fisher, and be sure to like, subscribe, and comment with any questions. Thank you.